Before we get into this Chronic King TV segment, I'm gonna start off by saying piercings do hurt. Now today we're gonna be talking to some of our staff on specifically do cartilage piercings hurt and how much. You ready? Let's go. A cartilage piercing can be considered pretty much any part of your ear that has like a denser cartilage. So it's a little bit thicker. It's not as floppy or squishy as your earlobe. Anything on this arch, anything in here like the dath or the forward helix, those are all typically considered cartilage piercings. They just have different names based on the anatomy. When most people think of cartilage piercings, they're only thinking about the outer ear cartilage. We call that the helix. The other parts of the ear that are cartilage would be anything on the upper ear above your lobes. So you have rook, conch, your industrial, and the date are all cartilage piercings as well. So the cartilage piercings I have is the forward helix as well as the conch. I have the flat, which is here with the little deftly hallows. I've also got my tragus on both sides. And on this side, I also have the forward helix. This would be like a forward helix over here. This is just a typical like regular helix, which is what a lot of people say what they want when they say they want a cartilage piercing. Conch is also a cartilage piercing, but it's considered a denser cartilage. So out of the three that I've had, I would say that the conch was definitely a little bit more painful just because it's a little bit thicker. Honestly, probably the forward helix, not because of the actual piercing itself, but they have to kind of get in and it's a little tight. I'd say the rook here was the most painful one. I think the conch, just because it's very thick uh, cartilage and you hear it a little bit, and yeah, it, it's definitely pretty sore for a good time afterwards. I felt that the forward helix and the industrial were a lot easier and they felt a lot quicker. Hurt the least? The tragus, definitely. It's almost like a lobe. It just went right through. I barely even noticed it. Probably the helix. I always tell people when I'm showing them jewelry that if they're scared, that helix is the next step up from a lobe piercing, just because I would say it's like, a little bit more painful, but not too much, and it's around the same type of um, cleaning process. A piercing is just, it's super quick. It's almost so quick that you don't even register the pain. It's more so like the after. So I would say like piercing is just like a really quick pain, and tattooing is like a more consistent. I think it depends on how long you're getting tattooed for. 